You can see the sap has filled up a little bit. I'm thinking once this really gets going, it won't be a problem, but there are some air bubbles you can see right here. Um, this is pretty solid. There's a couple bubbles here to the back one. Not sure if you'll be able to see this or not. You can see the drops on the bottom. It looks like they froze a little bit. This tap is leaking a little, so I'm gonna tap it in just a little bit more, see if I can get that leak to stop. You can see the side of the tree is wet here. Let's see if this works. All right, so I just tapped it in, and it looks like it's dripping in a little better now. So come and check these again in a few hours. As we move across the line, you can kind of see I'll try to lift it up a little bit. I'm not sure this is enough of a fall here. This is part of that learning curve. The duck underneath here. Over on the rock wall. From here down, it's pretty good. But this does make a pretty sharp turn here. Then you got some back up here. Let's see if I can get you to actually see this, the shadow. Um, yeah, there you go. So if I angle this up, try to get that air moving. It might be a couple different reasons why, but it could be an air leak. This is gravity, it's not vacuum, vacuum fed. And then this connection here, I think we'll have to fix when Jace gets home. So it's solid sap up through here to this point, and then not as much. One thing I, I was talking to Jace about last night is I think we need to put uh, an air vent into the tub. Um, so that it can uh, breathe a little. Dripping slowly, but not as much as we'd expect seeing the taps are running. You can kind of hear the echo. Yeah, it's only filled to like roughly down down here. So what I'm gonna do is open this. That'll add some air. So Definite learning curve, like I said yesterday. I think this might have a crack. That might be where we're having issues here. There's a small little crack right on this coupling tool. So I bet we need to switch that out. This is why uh, we start small and start up here. And then we can add to to our system down in the in the bigger grove area, maple bush down there. But yeah, <laughs> all, all of this looks like it's leaking out and I, it might be an air leak right there, which will cause it not to vacuum the same way and would make sense why the sap's kind of stopped here and not draining through as well as I want. So I'll find a new uh, little coupling and see if I can figure that out. And uh, update you guys later. So I was able to fix the sap. So it's running pretty good now. We're over the spigot amount, which isn't that much. You can kind of see here. But it's running pretty good. Didn't get up temp-wise very much. I think it's 35 high. I think it's 34 right now. But glad to see that working. So what I did, you can see, unfortunately, I had to pull the nail over on this side. And I just put it in just barely over here to hold this along the line. And I cut out the one that was cracked. So I'm not hammering this all the way to the tree. And then I also tried to shore it up on the back here so the angle's better. Um, 
tap there. Let's do this one here too. It doesn't look like it's running as much. You can see some air bubbles. Um, I also angled on this tree that wraps around. It's a little sharper than you normally want to have, but I did try to angle it a little bit more. You can see there's quite a bit of sap right here. Um, this tree back here is usually our biggest, one of the biggest producers of this, this row. A little bit of staining here, but not too bad. Um, let's see if I can get this to move a little bit. We have quite a bit of drop here. So by me pulling down the side, let's see if I can get it moving a little. Basically get the air bubbles to move here. I'll climb over the stone wall. I haven't checked on the back tap today. This is a T, this is a stopper. So the sap can only go here and then make the 90. And go around the tree. This is again, this is our tester to see uh, about running all the line. So this is a little interesting, not what you probably expected me to be doing, but I just cut the line right here. You can see it's not even dripping out because, let's get a focus, there you go, there's a little bit. The suction was so strong on this top tab, nothing was moving. I think I just cleaned, <laughs> cleared the whole line. Um, so if I go over here, you can see it moving. All the way over there. Um, so now if I hold on a second and put this bin down real quick I'll show you down at the bucket the big barrel it should be doing really well. All right so see so yeah it looks like it cleared this whole line already. So I'm not very good with the vacuum stuff. I've got to figure this out. <laughs> but uh, basically the concept was that there was vacuum, but it was almost vacuum pulling it back towards this top tree. Um, you can see this part is moving now. These bubbles are actually moving through through the taps, through the lines, much better. It's really hard to show on video here. So I don't know what we did wrong on that top tap, but I'm gonna fix it up now. The shadow is a little hard to tell. Um, I 
That's moving a little bit better than it was. Let's see this coming in here, these air bubbles. We've got quite a bit of a angle now. I also moved up that top line on that tree. You can see the angle's a lot more going into that first bend, the first tree. This is a sharper 90 than we like, want to have. You don't want sharp turns. So it might be that we have to come down from that tree angled here straight, and then these trees will be a straight and have a, a, the meat at the barrel here. But I'll try again and see. This is a learning curve, and I figured I'd share what I'm learning as I go here. Um, but this is moving at least a lot better than it was. I'll keep you posted. All right, so I have some cleanup to do later. I'm gonna get back inside. But uh, this is a second stopper. So this here is a stop end. So nothing can go this way. So now the sap's coming down this new line here and should be coming down through here and over and around that tree down the main line. What I don't know is if it will just get backed up again. Um, you can see this is, all this sap has been collected in the last, I don't know, couple minutes, two minutes maybe. So uh, it's definitely running. I <laughs> just need to figure out the uh, mechanics of how to make sure that the vacuum works successfully. Um, so this piece can get removed later, um, but there's no sap going this way, so it's not really an issue here. It just looks a little funky. Um, and so now this one doesn't go down as much, so I'm hoping that maybe that was part of the issue. Being on a gravity, um, gravity fed vacuum. But we'll see. I've got a little bit of sap here in the bowl that it collected. I got my tools I gotta pick up. And then uh, I'll walk the line one more time and see if I missed anything. I think this is running better now. So I'm gonna just place the lid tightly on, not tightly, sorry. I'm gonna loosely on, not tightly. Um, so make sure that there's still airflow into the bucket. Um, that seemed to work well for part of that issue. That's a nice steady stream there. Um, really think it should be going more, but I don't know, it's about 42 degrees Fahrenheit here. It's been sunny all afternoon. And uh, everything's melting. Snow's gotten back pretty good away from the uh, the roots at this point. All good signs. So I'll keep you guys updated. We got quite a few bubbles around this corner. It's solid up through that part. Then there's some open tubing. So we got some bubbles right here. And then it's solid most of the way down. So I think as the taps start getting stronger and start running more, should be good. We got a whole lot of bubbles right here. Um, seems like it's not moving very well. And then the tap lines themselves, the drop lines, don't look like they have much going in on on these trees. This one still looks pretty stained.
at least some micro bubbles in there, but nothing too bad. Could be still a little frozen too. I think it's only about 38 maybe right now. It's just warming up. It's down to 20 last night. So it's definitely having some movement, just not as much as I'd want. So I'm gonna go and try to set up some of the line and drops down on, uh, by the end of our driveway, some of the old maples down there. And I'll keep checking in on this. I'm not gonna mess with it much more today just gonna hope that the uh, as the temperatures rise a little bit and the sap really gets going today that it will start pushing enough sap to cause that vacuum but I'm where let's see show you guys from here we're about up to here at this point so figure somewhere around here is probably 30 gallons so we're probably 10, 12, 12 gallons at this point. Um, there's a spider. Uh, that's kind of gross. I'm not a big fan of them, but um, so yeah, so as we keep going, hopefully we'll have enough to really start boiling. I think we need, really we should have quite a bit to boil with our evaporator. Um, but I think by Saturday we should, it, today's Thursday morning. So I'll keep updating.